Okay, so we're gonna be starting today with making some notes about absolute value, but the first thing we need to do is trim up these two pieces of paper. So for your number line, trim it close to both ends. But notice I'm leaving some space on the top of this here because we'll be writing on this part. You're also going to want to trim the absolute value notes on the dotted lines so you end up with a little arrow cut out. We'll take care of the recycling after, just set your scraps to the side. So right now I've got these and I have my pens ready to take notes. Okay, I'm gonna fold this closed here so it's like a little booklet. And on the inside, we're gonna take a couple of notes. This is what I want you to write on the inside. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero realizing that's sort of hard to see let me zoom in on that a little bit see if this helps the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero and using one of your colors we're going to highlight two key phrases here the absolute value we want to underline absolute value and distance from zero. An absolute value is always positive. I want to show you in our notebook where we're putting this. The last thing that we took notes on was integers on page five. Remember, the left page is always going to be for you guys to write on, so we're going to move to the right side on page seven, and that's where we're going to glue this in. Remember, when we glue our phrase is dot, dot, and not a lot. I'm using only six dots to get this on here. It doesn't take very much. Okay. This doesn't look all that exciting right now, but at the end, if you have some time left, you can use your colors and come back and decorate the absolute value. I'll come back and finish mine later. The main thing I really want you to highlight is to show that this is an arrow. An absolute value arrow goes to the right because absolute value is always positive. Okay, underneath the absolute value foldable that we've glued in, let's do a couple of examples. I have the absolute value of eight. Even though it's a positive number, that's not really what's important. What's important on the inside here is how far away is this number from zero, and it's eight spaces away from zero. Then we have the absolute value of negative 14. How far away from zero is negative 14? 14 spaces, so that means it's a positive number. What we do with these is we take what's inside here, we find how far from zero, and that's what our absolute value is. Negative 14 is 14 spots from zero, so it goes there. This might be new. Sometimes an absolute value can have a problem on the inside of the absolute value bars. And if that's the case, you wanna solve what's on the inside first. 
what is 6 minus 2? It's the absolute value of 4. And 4 is 4 spots from 0, so it just equals 4. Okay? Again, if I'm going too fast, you guys are going to be able to pause this and come back. Next thing I want to do is take a couple of notes on our number line here. I'm going to write down the absolute value of negative 5. And I want to show you why these bars on the side of the absolute value are what they are. We always started at 0. And it goes to the place where our absolute value is telling us. So we have from 0 to negative 5. And this is how many spaces from 0? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means that the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 5 because we're just checking its distance from 0. The same would be the case if we had the absolute value of 7. We're going to take from 0, we always start at 0. Remember we compared these to the chains used in football. Instead of this being where the football is, it's where the zero is, and we count how many places away from zero we are, and we end up with seven. Okay. So before we glue this down, there's a couple of notes we want to get underneath it. Just three key points about absolute value. It's always positive. because we're looking at the distance from zero. And thinking back to this example up here, where we had six minus two and we need to simplify inside first, the final thing is simplify the inside first. Then it's the distance from zero. going to zoom out so we can see the whole page here. This can be glued in this little space here. Again, we're doing dot, dot, not a lot. a lot. It just fits right there. And that should be your complete page. <coughs> 